previously on Balls. Hello? John. Yes. Hey, Darren, how's it going, bud? Hello, Darren, I'm good, and you? I'm all right, Hello, thank John. you. Are hey, you, John. Is there any card? Is, uh, are you driving Hello, at the everyone. moment? Yes, I am driving. I'm I'm talking on the on the car thing. Yeah, you see, Springbok oh, captains always sorry. make sure they stick to the rules of the road. Yes. <laughs> very yeah. important, eh? very important. Especially thanks, thanks to BMW, eh? thanks to BMW. Yeah, we yes. go. Be, uh, right, now, do you, as a captain, do you get your very own, like, X6 or X5 or what to drive around? Uh, you can tell no, us. Actually I, actually, I do. Do you? Love yeah, no, well, they've sorted me out with a car and, um, and I'm just driving it uh, up here in Joburg now. Are you there? John? Hello? Hello? Ah, we got you back. Okay, sorry, we lost you for a second. We heard you oh, say you, you're driving it up in Joburg and? Uh, and then, they, um, then they're shipping it down to Cape Town and then they'll be driving it there as well. Awesome oh, stuff. Nice. So is that Good. that's awesome? Obviously, uh, BMW, one of the uh, proud supporters and partners of uh, SA Rugby, and and what which, which BMW is it you're driving right now? Um, I'm driving the X6 actually. Oh um, wow! It's not too bad, eh? <laughs> not too bad. Do you, it's do you have to return? Awesome. Do you have to return it at some point, John? Uh, yeah, I think as soon as they find me, I have to <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's lacquer. That's an, uh, try and find Hokey somewhere and, and, and put that car of his into the dust. <laughs> it's a great uh, car, the X6. Yeah. Nice, to, yeah. uh, nice to chat to you today, uh, Jean. You guys have been training at uh, Orlando Stadium. Yeah, we had an awesome session there yesterday. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's just always great to go, you know, to, to, to go to places that you, because it was my first time to Orlando Stadium and, mm. you know, to see all the kids there and, and how excited they were and, uh, you know, it, it really, it, it puts things in perspective and um, it's good to see that, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, even though we played poorly last week, you know, the kids still come out and it's still a, a like a fun day for them and, and definitely it, uh, it made our day as well. Awesome turnout there. Did you guys have a big turnout? Yeah, it was a good turnout. Um, you know, so so we were very happy. All right, uh, and uh, yeah, just careful when you're driving in there. Every, every corner you go around, uh, there's a metro cop or two <laughs> that are waiting to <laughs> to catch people for one reason or another. Um, and uh, how, how are things going as far as the team goes? What's what's the case like in the in the side? Has everyone kind of put the the bad day at the office behind them and now moving forward and looking forward to uh, tackling the rest of this campaign? Yeah, I think uh, exactly like you said there. Um, you know, we I think we were. We were quite hard on each other with the with the review of the game, uh, you know, and I think that was needed as well. Um, we need to we need to learn uh, from our mistakes and we need to grow as a team. And we can only do that, you know, if we can be honest with each other and and make sure that we that we make the spring of Jersey proud. So um, I don't think we did that in the last game we played, and we we're definitely going out to to rectify that next week. So uh, for now, we've put that game behind us, you know, focusing on on, on what lies ahead. And then, like I said, we've had. Well, yeah, and uh, and obviously yeah, there's, there's nothing better than just putting a, a day like that at the office to bed. Uh, you're only as good as your last game, so just get out there and um, and go and perform, and that's exactly what uh, what everyone's hoping is going to happen next time round. Yeah, so I missed I missed everything that you said. Now, sorry. It's all right. I was uh, I, I could hear that the phone was going a little bit dodgy. John, I want to I want to just ask you from the a captaincy point of view. We were having this discussion. Obviously, there's been a lot of debate about the game and stuff, and and the performance and uh, you know a lot of people have been getting on, on, on your back as well and uh, when, when you get given the captaincy as you were you know particularly with all the debate as to who would be the captain and the fact that some of the contenders were injured and not available I mean how do they how did they actually give you the job I think when you know when John got the job they said right you're our Springbok captain moving forward were you told John de Villiers you're our captain moving forward or is it you're our captain for this period yeah, um, initially it was, you know, it was just for the, for the three tests uh, against England, huh. um, you know, and um, and then after the second test, I think it was, then, then the coach uh, said that, you know, I'll be captaining the team for the for the rest of the year. So, so at this stage, it'll only be, um, you know, for, for this year, and hopefully I can do a good enough job and, and, and do the same next year again. Yeah, does it is it does it make much of a difference? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think if there's ever been a scenario. Look, I mean, every player doesn't 
guarantee a place in the side every week. But when you get made captain, obviously there is a long-term plan there. Have you ever been in a scenario where you say, people have said to you, okay, John, you're our long-term captain for a side? Because I know, obviously, with a view to the uh, province and the Stormers as well, you know, there's always been you or Skulk, and depends who's, who might be injured, one or the other that takes over as captain. Have you ever been in a scenario where they've said, okay, you're our captain, that's it, let's move on? Yeah, um, yeah when, I, when I was, uh, you know, with the Stormers, when Rusty initially came in there, uh, you know, I was the captain and, and, and then left for, for Munster, um, uh, you know, and then Skull took over the captaincy, and and he, he is actually officially our captain at the Stormers. Um, I took a little bit more of a, a, a vice captaincy role, but um, you know, it turned out that I actually captained most of the season. Hello, that's gone temporarily. It might be back again. John, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, we got. To, I think it's something that uh, cancels every now and again on that phone. We got you back again. You were just saying captain for yeah. most of the season, yeah. Yeah, so um, you know, it, it, it is something that I enjoy, but but again, you know, only having it for this year uh, with the Springboks, I think it, it keeps you it keeps you on your toes as well. Yeah. Like you said, no no one, you know, will be in the team every single week. It's you know, you have to play for it and you have to deserve it. So I think in a way, it's a good thing, and um, and in a way, it keeps everyone on their toes and everyone knows that. No one's a certainty with, within the squad, especially going into next year as well. Yeah. Uh, I think the point was made um, when uh, one of the guys was talking, and I think it was actually John that was saying, you know, it's a lot easier if you know, you know, you are the Springbok captain and, and, and you, you sort of learn ways and you start developing ways of how you can uh, remind the referee about guys going over the top as the Argentinians were last week and, you know, just have a little word. You almost get to know the tactics you can play with different referees. It's easier yeah. when it's a fer permanent position and, and you get to learn each referee as opposed to when you're just there for a short while. Yeah, I would, I would love to be able to use that excuse, Dan, but I mean, <laughs> I've, had, I've had Steve Walsh about five or six times this year, yeah. and, um, you know, as a captain with the Stormers and the Springboks, so um, I probably could have handled it better, but, you know, it's also you get to know your, uh, you, 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 know, you get to know the referees, and you also know who you can actually um, have a bit of banter and a, and a word with and who you should, should rather stay away from, so, yeah, um, yeah like I said, you... You do learn uh, along with the job, you know, the longer that you're there, but um, definitely uh, Saturday I probably could have handled it better. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just a point about, you know, how, how some captains handle different referees versus versus others. It's not necessarily, it wasn't necessarily brought up as a as a, as a criticism as to how it was handled. I mean, it's I think it was more sort of a, a pointed thing, which John can do now at uh, maybe one or two of the decisions that weren't be ma being called. Yeah. In, uh, yeah. in in that game um, otherwise everyone uh, everyone cool raring to go the the squad all 100 percent everyone fit are there any doubts at the moment or people that are still, that are still in question as far as fitness goes before you guys head yeah, off there's one or two niggles still um, you know Arjun Strauss took a, took a knock to the knee um, so uh, you know he's, he's just um, uh, he didn't train with us yesterday so uh, uh, we'll, we'll and, um, and and Brian about Reed. Did I break away again there? No, you're there. Yes. We've got Brian Habana, yeah? And, and, and Brian Habana also, you know, he just went over his ankle again, but, um, you know, he was he was back at training today. So uh, it's looking pretty good. And, you know, like I said, the guys are fired up to, to get to Perth. Awesome stuff. Well, John, we appreciate your time uh, chatting to us. And uh, right behind you guys, get, get it back on track, as we know you will. And uh, travel safe when you guys do go over for the rest of the Castle Lager Championship. Drive safe and thanks for talking to us today. Thank you very much, Darren. Thanks for the support. It's nice chatting to you, Ed. Right? Thank oh, you, Jean. You'll always have it, bud. Ciao. Have Thanks, everyone. Cheers, man. Bye-bye. Bye. There we go. Jean de Villiers, uh, the Springbok captain in his BMW, oh. driving through Joburg. Let's go! Let's go! Do BM to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za. Balls.co.za.